Welcome to this video on the 7 indicators of a potential collapse in the auto industry. The automobile industry is an essential component of the world economy, but it is also a very volatile sector that is susceptible to a variety of influences, such as shifts in consumer behavior, economic downturns, and technological advancements. In this video, we'll go through the top 7 warning indicators of a probable collapse in the car market and how each of them might affect the sector as a whole. This movie will give you important insights into the difficulties and opportunities the automotive industry is currently facing. Whether you are a vehicle enthusiast, an investor, or someone who is interested in the global economy. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the 7 warning signs of a potential car market collapse. 1. Decreasing sales. A major sign of a potential collapse in the auto business is declining sales. When consumers cease purchasing automobiles, it may indicate that demand has declined and the market is going through a downturn. Many factors, such as sluggish economy, high unemployment, or rising petrol prices, could be to blame for this. Also, delaying the purchase of a new car may indicate that a person lacks confidence in their financial status or the direction of the economy. This can have a domino effect, whereby manufacturers and dealerships start to suffer from a lack of sales, which might make the situation even worse. A fall in sales might also result in a rise in inventories, which would raise the pressure on manufacturers to lower their prices or provide discounts in order to get rid of the extra stock. 2. Increasing inventories. When automakers build more vehicles than they can sell, it may be a sign that supply and demand are not balanced. This could occur for a number of causes, including an excess of a particular model of vehicle, a rapid change in consumer tastes, or a decline in demand brought on by a weak economy or other outside factors. Manufacturers may be forced to turn to offering substantial discounts or other incentives when inventories mount in order to get rid of the surplus goods. Manufacturers and dealerships can see a drop in their profit margins and sales as a result. Also, a rise in inventories can indicate that producers are reducing output in response to shifting market conditions, which might represent job losses or layoffs for workers in the sector. However, as buyers might have more negotiating power in a market with more inventory, an excess of cars could potentially put downward pressure on resale pricing. 3. Layoffs when manufacturers and dealerships begin to lay off staff, it may be a sign that they are having trouble making ends meet because of dwindling sales or other causes. Employees in the manufacturing, sales, and marketing sectors of the industry could be laid off. Also, it can lead to a loss of ability and knowledge, which would make the issue worse. Layoffs may also result in a decline in consumer confidence since consumers may be less likely to purchase automobiles if they are concerned about the stability of the sector or their own job security. Moreover, layoffs could have a negative impact on other areas of the economy since people without jobs might have less money to spend on other goods and services, which might cause a slowdown in other industries. 4. Decreasing profit. When earnings fall, it can be a sign that suppliers, dealers, and manufacturers are having trouble paying their bills because of a drop in demand, rising costs, or other issues. Reduced profitability may prompt cost-cutting actions like lowering pay, reducing production, or terminating personnel. These actions can further harm the sector since they might cause dwindling customer confidence and falling sales. Also, a drop in profitability may result in less investment and RD, which may make it harder for manufacturers to innovate and maintain their competitiveness in the long run. A reduction in profits might also mean lower dividends and returns for investors which could undermine investor confidence and cause the stock market to decline even more. 5. Higher interest rates. An increase in interest rates makes borrowing more expensive, which may cause a drop in consumer demand for automobiles. Also, higher interest rates might make it more difficult for dealerships to provide financing choices, which might further stifle sales. Also, as consumers would find it more challenging to make payments on their auto loans, increased interest rates could result in an increase in loan defaults. Because lenders might be forced to seize cars and resell them at a loss, this could cause car prices to fall. Furthermore, as investors may prefer to invest in other sectors that offer higher returns, increased interest rates may also result in a decline in investment in the auto industry. This might make it harder for manufacturers to raise the money they need to invest in innovation and long-term competitiveness. 
In the end, rising borrowing rates are a hint that the auto industry may be dealing with serious issues that, if left unattended, might cause a collapse. 6. Decreasing resale value. If the resale value of cars declines, there may be an excess of vehicles on the market, which might be the result of a decrease in demand or an increase in inventories. Other causes, such as a change in customer preferences, a bad economy, or more competition, may also result in a decline in resale value. Furthermore, a loss in resale value might make it harder for customers to sell or trade in their vehicles, which might lead to a drop in dealership sales. As well, as lenders might be less eager to provide loans for vehicles with a lower resale value, a decline in resale value might result in a decline in the value of auto loans. This can lead to a further drop in sales and a weakening of the auto industry. 7. Increase in gas prices. Gas price increases make driving more expensive, which could reduce customer demand for cars, particularly for bigger or less fuel-efficient models. Increased demand for more fuel-efficient or alternative fuel vehicles could result from higher gas costs, which could put pressure on manufacturers that are unable to supply this demand. The consumer preference for using public transit, car-sharing programs, or other alternative forms of transportation may change as a result of increasing petrol prices, which might further reduce sales for the auto industry. However, as investors may prefer to invest in other industries that are less impacted by the price of oil, an increase in petrol costs may also lead to a decline in investment in the automobile industry. This might make it harder for manufacturers to raise the money they need to invest in innovation and long-term competitiveness. We appreciate you watching this video on the 7 indicators of a potential collapse in the auto industry. We hope that this debate has given you a better understanding of the difficulties the auto sector is currently facing and how they might affect the world economy. While the warning flags we've covered are undoubtedly cause for concern, it's vital to keep in mind that the auto industry has repeatedly shown itself to be resilient in the face of hardship. In order to negotiate these difficulties and come out stronger on the other side, it is essential that industry stakeholders continue to be alert, flexible, and imaginative as we move forward. If you found this video informative, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more insights into the global economy and other important topics. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.